thunderous beauty of his majesty, he was rolling in gold. <laughs> Administrators, drinks were served in golden vessels, provosts were garbled in royalty. But in the sixth year of his reign, just after he signed the new six-year contract, <laughs>
21st century Europe, that he never saw the internet in the shtetl, Baruch Hashem. While living with his Litvish aunt and uncle, Loraleinu, his, his Hasidish Rosh Hashiva came to him and said to him, Chaim, in Europe, you are a special boy in Italy, you should come to my yeshiva in America and help burn the hovel inside of you. And so the boy accepted. When the idol boy got to the yeshiva, it was such a halakha atmosphere. The day he got there, he had to be placed in a shear. So along with the other bacharim, he sat under the starting hat.
is absolutely beautiful. So I take a moment just to really, uh, touch base with you. So let's see where you're at right now. Are you dating anyone right now? So I you married. Oh, my, oh my. What's your name? Uh, I'm sorry. I definitely remember it when you started by you to the end of your first year by you. Afterwards, I pretty much I forget this. Anyway, let me tell you a little bit about this sheep vibe and anyways, I talked to a lot of Tom Meeting here and I always try to come to the basement with shit out once every five months. Anyways, I always make sure to point that I come to the basement with a clap on the people. I think it's my dying for Tom Meeting to hear my message that we should stop learning in five, ten minutes just so I can tell them how important it is to learn every minute of every day.
How about COVID? Anything juicy there? Nothing recently. Weiss's publicist is really good. How about an SAR? Anything new? Nah, they've been keeping themselves under wraps pretty well. <laughs> Anything at Yeshiva University? Surprisingly, no, but I bet we can get some stuff if we hang around there for a while. How about you follow that Rabbi Shafter fellow? Which one, JJ? Nah, silly. Real one. Good evening, everybody. It's that time of the week. You can ask a random Shabbos now, but you know the drill. You have to turn off your recorders. Does anybody have any questions today? You? Uh, Rebbe, when can uh, one put a pot back on the fire on Shabbos? Well, if you have all the requirements of Ashtar and the food is a solid, you can put the pot back on the fire on Shabbos. Headline, Shafter endorses the pot use on Shabbos. Yeah. 